what was one of your biggest difficulties like growing up? Um, I had a very nice childhood. Um, one of the biggest difficulties was was realizing actually it was something I realized later that was a difficulty is patience. I didn't understand what patience meant. I thought if you're being patient and, and that meant you weren't driven, you know. So I, I finally learned that, that being patient is actually one of the most important important aspects of life is that being patient is just being driven but knowing that everything's gonna be okay as long as you put the time in, you know, not having not having answers right away, that sometimes things take time to mature. So I would say that's having patience is the is the best. I would say it's the best learning experience anyone can have. Mm -hmm. We saw that you've worked on many TV shows and movies. Can you tell us about a favorite and why? Um, I would probably say my favorite. One of my favorite experiences was I worked on the film Transformers. Um, my first day ever on set working, and I got um, I got yelled at by Michael Bay, who was the director, for standing there. And my job was really simple. I was to make sure no one took pictures of the cars we had on set, and all the cars had covers on them. So I'm pretty much watching cars that have covers on them to make sure people don't take pictures and are cl and the set was closed. And technically, we're in a public place, so if anyone took a picture you can't legally tell them not to so my job was pointless but um so I got yelled at doing for something that I had no control in anyway but it was that was a summer of really seeing how this industry was and how it worked and and uh and being on a huge blockbuster film and having no idea what I was doing yet like living my dream you know what's the most interesting project you're currently working on like if you're working on any other than two broke up yeah, um, besides Two Broke Girls, two, I, I like to say Two Broke Girls is my day job. Um, and the big thing for me is I want to direct. Um, and I'm on a cool path right now on Two Broke Girls I think will help me lead to directing. But um, the big thing you got to keep telling yourself is you got to keep doing what you want to do. So this, this last summer I went and did a short film um, that I just finished um, post-production on. And now I submitted to a bunch of film festivals. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, I'm in the waiting game of hearing back from these film festivals. I sent it out to 13 so I'm kind of in that patient like you know refresh my my gmail hopefully you know hopefully I'll get in I went I did the Santa Barbara Film Festival so hopefully I'll get into that one um, yeah what are some projects you're looking forward to and tell us about them um, yeah, that's a, any 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 filmmaker you ask that question with they'll have a thousand answers I literally have probably seven scripts that I could I would want I want to write right now but it's it's comes back to patience and realizing you got to pick one and go with it but um, you know there's one story specifically it's called within um, it's very close it's about adoption I was adopted mm -hmm. um, so and it's a feature I already wrote the first draft which is awful <laughs> um, and now it's another thing you realize about writing is you'll write and you know, literally put my tears into it I put joy smiles and then you read it after you write it and you go, oh, this is so bad. But, you know, but it's all about, you know, kind of the bends, you know, going up that uphill. I was saying, you know, you realize, okay, I'm here. Eventually I'll get, I'll, eventually the script will get there. It's just, yeah. you got to put the time in. So, yeah. So you're into, interested in writing as well as directing? Yeah, yeah. Kind of writing. Whenever you direct anything, you actually have a lot of kind of input creatively. So there's all sort of writing. But for me, there's something about writing that just, you know, just gets you motivated and passionate. Mm -hmm. If you could have worked on any movie throughout the history of like forever, what movie would you pick and why? Uh, yeah, that's an easy, easy answer for me. Forrest Gump is my all-time favorite movie. Oh, um, it, yeah, Jake, yeah, my brother, he knows it. Um, it is. It's what got me into this, you know, passion. I saw Forrest Gump, and just the ability that that you can get so you can watch something and it just that's what I love about filmmaking is you can just literally you don't have any care in the world and you're so involved in this story that that you don't blink you know you're just like stunned and and Forrest Gump had that I mean I, I'll, I'll never forget that that story of, mm -hmm. of Forrest and what he went through and the troubles that he went through and the joy that the little things brought him mm -hmm. um, so Forrest Gump would I would I would die to have uh, to worked on that mm -hmm. and just in terms of the actual like um, like 
the sets and like the cameras yeah. or just the story? Well, the story especially, but then, you know, the, the film went through history. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool that they kind of sprinkled all the big moments of history in that film. Mm -hmm. So I would have, you know, it would have been cool to kind of see how they did that. You know, they filmed new, new footage with old footage and put them together. And it was the first time they've ever done that. Mm -hmm. um, so they actually, you know, they were doing a lot of groundbreaking yeah, stuff.